you know, they understand that in back in Poland, you know, usually there's not too many things for free. Right. So, you know, going in, going into my camp, they realize they can have everything for free. They don't have to worry about anything, and it's an opportunity for every kid, not only for the kid who has a nice shoes and he looks good and he can play basketball sure. far, but for the you know for the kid who doesn't have his shoes and you know would like to have a basketball in his hands. So, you know, we not we really separate you know uh, one kid from another. We just trying to get involved in a community and we, we, we don't care what kind of kids will come to our camp. We're trying to help everybody who's going to show up. Obviously, we have a certain limitations uh, because of the, you know, different rules and the gym size and, you know, people equipment size and everything we have and everything we have. But uh, usually we have about four camps. Each camp has between 130 to 140 kids. And, uh, you know, the camp is about three hours then we have another hour and a half signing autograph session of signing autographs so we we do a lot of different things and obviously it's not easy to you know nine years of my knowledge just to kind of like compress and and and, and give it to them in a three-hour pill right you know it's it's really hard Sounds but you know we're trying to do we're trying to do as much as possible but in the end of the day, uh, my camp became in Poland kind of like a ritual. You know, it, every year, every every summer, everybody knows that there's going to be a march and go to that camp, and everybody's preparing for that camp. Right. I have players that you know four or five years ago they were in my camp, and now they play for the under 16, under 17 national team. So, you know, I had players that been they went through my camp, and now they are national team players. Obviously, we're trying to you know make basketball more popular back in Poland. Soldiers back in Poland, they are not treated. They are not treated the way they are treated here in the United States. So we know that you know we try to help them. We we try to you know show that you know thanks to these guys, actually we are safe. And a lot of you know people thinking soldiers, wars, you know gunfight, you know explosion, people killing, dying. It's not true. Obviously, you know soldiers are made to protect us, but. And the end of the and the end and, and the end of the day, when there is a, some kind of uh, you know cat catastrophe, catastrophe like tsunami or earthquake or anything else, right. the soldiers are the first one who are going and helping. But you know, at the end of the day, it's it's, it's about you know community and Polish people you know respecting the soldiers. This, uh, last year we did wheelchair camp, uh, camp on the wheelchairs and actually it was, uh, it was, it was a heart heartbreaking camp, heartbreaking camp for me. Uh, just how these, we had about seven, eight national team players on, on the wheelchairs who came down to work out with me and work with me. And obviously I kind of gave them the whole power of, you know, getting through the whole process of, you know, doing the practice because I wasn't really, I, I didn't have that knowledge yet. So it was, it was amazing how they, how they went through the whole camp with the kids. And, um, we had one of the players is actually top five, the best players in the world right now from Poland. So, you know, people were able to see the guy who is uh, just monster big. I mean, he's big, his arms are big. He's mean guy on the wheelchair who was just kicking ass and you know I think he's he inspired literally like 20 or 30 mm -hmm. kids in the camp that you know just because you know the a bad thing happened to you in your life doesn't mean that you know you can't live you can't live on and, and you can't continue to live good you know we we spoke with a lot of kids we had you know different people helping us out at the camp psychologists and you know different people mentors you know athletes who came down and talked to them you know so it was amazing we're going to continue to do this and we're going to do it even more probably next year. We're going to probably do two camps and we're going to have more, more, uh, more kids on the wheels, wheelchairs. This year we have probably about 30, maybe 35. So we're going to probably expand Excellent. it to about 50. So, uh, it was, it was, it was a extraordinary, um, extraordinary camp, I would say, because it was, it was difficult. It was difficult for me, but it was so much fun to work with these people. <laughs> That's great. There's a positive. There's a positive side of, of basketball. You know, is basketball is not only practices, practices. Uh, you know, pounding the ball and a lot of work, sweat. You know, they gotta understand that you know playing basketball on the highest level, 
also have different consequences like you know living a good life living in a good city um, being able to go everywhere and people recognize you you can get you can get pretty much because of, because you play basketball and you play basketball on the highest level a lot of doors are going to open up for you you can you can actually you can actually achieve a lot of different things that you know a lot of normal people can and you know this is a huge opportunity for them to understand that you know they can also understand that you know they can secure their life for, not only for them but for, for their kids for their families for their parents right. and you know obviously you know make their parents proud you know and you know I, th I think every kid would like to make his parent you know parents uh, proud so we showing them that you know being in sports it can take them also you know off the streets you know right. they did which is the most important part right uh, you know there's a lot of obviously violence a lot of different things like drugs alcohol and you know a lot of different things on the streets and you know the most important part is to take them away from that distract them from that part and, and just put them in sports you know it doesn't have to be necessary basketball volleyball soccer different things so you know if, as far as, as you know as far as I know if they're gonna follow you know different sports you know there's gonna be my success you know and and uh, hopefully they're gonna come out from you know sitting in front of the con usually they sit in front of the computer so if they're gonna come out from you know they're gonna come out of their room you know for an hour or two just to go you know bounce the ball that they receive on the you know marching course of camp then uh, you know it's gonna be a big success for us okay